hello how are you guys doing uh this is for scorpio no contact you guys welcome back to the channel we're gonna dive right into your read and see what's going on with the person that you're thinking about um you're wondering if this person is thinking about you if this person is coming back if this person wants to be with you again what is the deal with this person we're going to dive right into this person's energy um, but if this does resonate with you, go ahead, Scorpio, and thumbs up the video here on the YT. Thank you guys for all your support and love on your last video. We are almost there. We're getting this channel back up. We are moving back up, okay, for the channel. All right, we're still in the gray, but we're almost there to be in the check mark. And your girl is going to definitely keep tabs, keep tabs, and keep going on and keep moving strong with the channel even though a lot of the personals do get in the way but i know that i'm being of service and i'm here to help i'm here to you know just give the message that you guys need to take with you to move forward to do whatever you need to do um, within your situation all right so thank you guys for all your love and support but if you guys are looking for personal booking, you can email me at thescenetarot at gmail.com, you guys. We have four different offers available. We have the first timer, which is um, anyone that didn't have a booking with me. So this is your first time and you want to you know, take advantage of this package. It is $45 for 20 minutes. So email me if you guys are interested in that. And if you are returning, we do have three offers for you. We have the uh, five uh, five question read which is for $35 we have the $60 read which is for 28 minutes then we have the $70 read which is for 38 minutes okay so if you guys are interested take advantage thank you so much for all of you that already booked with me um, and just excited to hear the information that's out there for you yes so can't wait to talk to you guys so let's get into it, you guys, and see what we have for you. When it comes to Scorpio, no contact. Scorpio, no contact. This person that's thinking about Scorpio or the person that Scorpio is thinking about. I'm feeling like difficulties. Like there is difficulties between you and this person, obviously. Like I'm feeling like, like it's very hard for you to connect together or talk to each other that's what i'm picking up here okay so let's see scorpio what's the energy for scorpio let me just pause this i'm trying to put on my meditation music but there's ads all the time <laughs> scorpio's energy please no contact the two, no, the, the world in reverse, number 21. Maybe February 1st, you guys. Something about February 1st. But there's an incompletion here, obviously. We have the lovers. We also have the empress. So this is a really strong connection and I feel like um, this person looks at you in a very good light. There's a, a really strong, passionate connection between you and this person as well. This is what I'm picking up here. Like whatever separation you guys got going on or it's like it's not going to last. Even with this world being in reverse, it's just not going to last. This is what I'm seeing here. Like this person is going to reach out to you. This person is thinking about you right now. Tell me about this situation here. What is this? What is going on for this connection? What is going on this connection for Scorpio no contact? What is this about? Okay, what is this? few cards are coming out here. And these two are actually coming out here as well. Somebody was very dishonest here. This um, lies and betrayal that was coming through as well. This is what I'm picking up. Some kind of lies, some kind of trickery. Um, 
deception that happened between you and this person's energy. Um, there's still hope here. Like someone is keeping the hope alive. Someone is manifesting you back into their lives. Like this person is just hoping, manifesting, like hoping that everything will be okay. They look at you as the empress, you know, they don't want this to be over. They kind of like they're obsessed, you know, this is what I'm feeling like this person is obsessed with you or have some kind of obsession. The way they think about you, like physical aspects, they're kind of like really just like in that obsession mode. Like they just can't stop thinking about you. There's you no know, future with you, a life with you. For some of you, you know, this is a relationship that I'm getting that you guys planned a future together, some kind of future together. This is what I'm seeing here. Like you wanted children or you probably have children with this person and you don't and you don't know where they are. Um, something with this person is like they they look at you as the future, you know, like there's still this happiness. There's still this chance of this this fulfillment, you know, the Ten of Cups basically with you and them. Um, I'm just getting that too. It's like this back and forth energy. Only you but devoted to you, attached to you. Like I said, you know, this person has some kind of attachment to you as well. It's like they're thinking about all the good times, the excitement. Like you bring like this, um, this, this, this feeling of mystery within their lives, you know. That's what I'm feeling here. I'm picking up with you in this energy. Um, so let's just continue. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this. No contact energy. The Three of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords. So there's going to be a shift happening here. This person, um, I'm really picking up that this person have some kind of confidence issues when it comes to you when it comes to them when it comes to being together it's like they're afraid or they're staying back they don't kind of have the strength to like continue this or it's like they don't have that fate within themselves that's what i'm picking up like they rather just let things just stay still like they're in this still mode but there is going to be a shift with this energy i feel like there's no determination you know, to go after what they truly want. It's like the what I'm seeing here is like all these cards is like they don't regret having you in their lives. You know, they don't have this regret with you not being in their lives. It's like they're so thankful. They're so grateful. This is what I'm seeing from the three of pentacles, from the lovers, from the temperate, the empress here. Even the worlds in reverse, it's like this is un this is uncom uncomplete. Like they need to finish this. Like they're being drawn back to you. You know, there's a lesson here for you and this person to be together, to learn from each other with the three of pentacles. And they're learning from you. They learned what they needed to learn. And the Ace of Swords is also here. Let me know that. Like there it was a purpose. This is this wasn't just a random meetup. Nothing within your life is random. Everything is happening for a purpose. Every little detail is planned within the universe. Believe it or not, you guys. Um but everything is happening the way it should. This is what I'm seeing here. So we're gonna put these cards on the side. Because we need to get into the read. We need to get into the read with the tarot and see what's going on here. All right, so tell me more about this energy. No contact with Scorpio. Yeah, look at this person making a decision in the moment. So you're probably dealing with some kind of ear quality, um, like Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy for those of you. But I'm also seeing major energy like Gemini is here. And then we have Virgo energy as well. Um, we do have Gemini here within the world. We also have Aquarius. We also have Taurus and Leo within the world. Um, but this person is running back, running back towards you, ready to defend. This is what I'm hearing, ready to defend in the Knight of Swords, ready to fight for <laughs> this, this relationship in the moment. And, you know, the funny thing about this is, is that it doesn't even matter who you're with or who you're, you know, dealing with in this moment. They're just still running towards you. But there are some things that they, they still need to figure out within the two of 
you know, the two of pentacles going back and forth here. You're kind of like dealing with a child. Like they feel like they, they got this. You hear what I'm saying? Like I got this energy. But they're coming back towards you. I'm seeing that. Okay, so then we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Ooh, we have the Ten of Cups. No, the Ten of Pentacles, excuse me. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Forgive me, you guys, I haven't used this deck in a minute. So it's basically new again. <laughs> it's basically new again. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups here in reverse. We have the Nine of Cups here and the Six of Cups. So this is something that is, uh, again, unfinished business, you know, unfinished business here. This is what I'm seeing with the Six of Cups. Um, definitely a, a past connection. This is a contract um, relationship as well. For some of you, you could be dealing with your Twin Flame energy. This is what I'm seeing here. Like this person really has a tie to you but you're going through a lot of trials and tribulations a lot of you could have a family together and you just haven't heard from this person this person haven't talked to you like they just don't want to talk to you like something is going on here or you planned a lot of um things together maybe you guys were engaged at one point this is what i'm seeing here you have the ten of swords you're kind of like releasing this energy forgiving this person within this moment there's like not really any bad blood here you know it's just like this like uh clarity this is what i'm feeling like there's lack of clarity but there is going to be i'm seeing like conversations here it's all about this ten of pentacles coming back together it's going to be about the seven of cups i feel like this person again cheated on you we have the two of um the two of pentacles here as well like i feel like this person was unfaithful and this is why they're coming back. This is why they're trying to talk to you. Um, but you are important to them. I feel like this is going to be a good conversation. It's some kind of download that is happening here. Like I said, you do have a shift, you know, a shift of energy. The truth is going to be setting you guys free here. There's not going to be any kind of um, secrets after you guys get together and actually speak and put everything on the table. Everything is going to be in the light. This is what I'm seeing. Like you're going to have communication you're going to have um the clarity you're going to have this information to move forward and to do what you must you know in your situation this is what i'm picking up here so a lot of um a lot of move like a lot of thinking here a lot of information here a lot of things to reevaluate here like I'm also seeing the nine. Look at this. The nine of cups. They really still feel for you within the nine of cups here. They really still feel like they could do this. But even with the ten of pentacles being in the upright, they feel like they can still do this. You know, they can still be, be with you. They can still um, definitely like give you what you want and your dreams and your goals and all those promises that they have made. They feel like they can still, you know, get this and ha make this happen for you and them. Um, there is a lot of love between you and this person. This is just not one sided. It's a lot of love. Like you f still feel for this person. This person reminds you of home. This person reminds you of, you know, your childhood. For some of you might have known this person for a very long time. You grew up with this person you see as your kid and then you grew up together. Um, you have this bond, this special understanding that no one seems to, to get. And for some of you, um, well, for most of you, I mean, this whole thing, I, I'm, I'm just tapping into this whole thing, whoever this person is, this is a past contract, a past life contract um, that you're trying to, you know, get right within this life. So, because I'm seeing like there is the lovers here. So, twin flame energy so this is a part of you this is you your other side of you so this person could scare you a little bit um you know especially when they're not on the same page with you this could be your best friend or your worst enemy honestly if you know you guys don't get it together <laughs> um but i'm feeling like they're if they're coming from a, a horrible background it's going to be hard you know if they're coming from something like a toxic background that's why they're treating you the way that they treat you because of their, 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 their upbringing. And also because they never took 
initiative to heal, which if you could just understand most people just don't they just come from a bad background and they think that you know this is something that they have to deal with and just move on and try to live life right um so they never really took the initiative to heal here so let's see we have the eight of swords energy so there's still some kind of um restriction going on here if you feel trapped, you can't move on when it comes to the truth because they, you feel like there's so many things that are being hidden from you. It's like I'm getting like it's going to be hard for you to trust this person, even though this person is going to be coming back, going to be returning to you. The Queen of Cups is in reverse. You just don't know. You kind of feel like, okay, even if this person is coming to you and they're giving you this offer, you don't know if you're ready to give this person this offer. You don't know if you're ready to really you know throw in you know as well i'm also seeing the high priestess here in reverse so you're emotionally all over the place in the queen of cups and also in the, the high priestess in reverse you're not listening to your intuition you guys are going through a lot of anxiety like this person gives you anxiety this person scares you this person make you worry um like you have this fear of this person hurting you or breaking your heart this is what i'm seeing here so I feel like you have to talk about this. You feel like um, there's possibly no way that this is going to work, you know, between you and this energy when they do return. Cancer vibes is also coming up here as well within the high priestess. I feel like whoever this person is, they're not ready to make a decision yet about whatever they got going on within their lives. So even if they come to you, they're going to still have this juggling issue going back and forth. And I feel like what's going on with this person is like they do things in the moment, so that could scare you too. It's like they do things when they're ready. It's not to make it make sense, you know, is when they, when they're ready, when they, it has that, they have that feeling like they're ready. To, okay. Yeah. Okay. My person is going to give me another chance. So, okay. Okay. I'm going to get out of this situation. Um, but they're not doing that as yet. I feel like they're trying to figure out what your energy is all about because you guys haven't been speaking, but it's going to be a good conversation. But this person has, um, self-esteem issues, you guys. Tell me about this. Tell me more. Somebody is very bored at this moment. <laughs> We're feeling very empty. I feel like this person is like since you left their life, it's like this empty feeling, you know, that they can't get rid of. And they think about you and this nurturing energy, Queen of Wands energy. It's like you come into their life. You help them with their self, with themselves. You help them to grow. You help them to stay focused. You know, you kind of like push them in kind of like this soul searching energy. You know, this positive energy. They will return. Okay. I'm seeing the return card here. So they're coming back, you guys. Um, be very prepared. All right. Because your person is coming back. I feel like a lot of you... This is a time for, this is a huge opportunity that is coming back. A lot of you need this because, of course, you have this in, like, these things that still needs to be answered. Like, you feel like you still have questions that haven't been answered, even though I'm seeing a huge conversation, I'm seeing a shift happening with you when it comes to the truth. But I'm seeing a second chance, making amends here, Okay. But this is going to be an emotional roller coaster for you. There's just going to be a lot of a tower moments. I feel like right now you guys are experiencing the biggest tower moment of your, you know, of your relationship, of your experience together. But there is going to be also others because you're dealing with your twin flame. So you're going to have trials and tribulation, you guys. You're going to have to have it. All right, this person is to make you grow spiritually, you know? 
And sometimes the bad really just helps it, you know, turns into the good. You know, you could help have a, a, a negative situation and turn that into the positive situation as well. So um, I'm seeing running again, you know, like this person keeps running. Um, so I feel like with this, even though with this relationship, um, this could be running away from this relationship and this person, because that's the way I feel like this person deals with stuff. They don't deal with stuff maturely. They have no confidence for that. It kind of like they act like the nine of swords and they kind of do things in the moment. So it's like, I don't see like they're going to give this person who they're dealing with right now because yes, they're dealing with something. Okay. With this two of pentacles being here. And it's like their heart is in two places at once. And um, I feel like they're just running, running to you, then running away, running away from something. <laughs> because it says ghost in here, disappearing, invisible. So, you know, this person is about to ghost someone. <laughs> If this is what they have to do, and even I feel like this, they might have ghosted you too. You know, one of the, the the tower moment that happened, they kind of like ghosted you, ran away. Oh my gosh! Then we have mixed signals here, so this is like a a heart fog. Like you you don't see you don't you're not clear on the situation. It's like you don't know who, how this person feels about you. Is this all mixed up here or messed up? Then we have here avoiding, blocking, pushing away. Okay. But somebody been watching you for quite a while. I'm also seeing this fine. This person is looking at you at your social media, you know, um, just f trying to find a way to connect with you, even though they're not in contact with you or not talking to you. But this person kind of walked away from you, avoided you, make you feel like the five of pentacles, out of place. This is what I'm picking up with this energy. Okay, so let's just get some cards here because I wanted to start clarifying some cards for no contact, please. So why is this world in reverse here? Why is this world energy in reverse for Scorpio? Why is this world energy in reverse? There's a transition happening. So we have the high priestess. We have... The Knight of Cups here. I feel like this person didn't give you what you wanted. Um, and now they want to. It's like something ended here. This is your energy, Scorpio. You know what I'm, I'm also seeing? Like, you did not... This did not, like, keep you, like, not from not moving on. What the main issue with you was, the clarity. Like why this person was lying to you, why they felt like they had to lie to you, why they felt like they had to do this to you. Like this is what your main issue was, but you um, have the energy of just moving on, you know. I don't see that you're, you're like okay with giving this, with giving this person a second chance and this is what you're afraid about. Because you're not sure if this person is going to be serious this time, you know, with this Knight of Cups energy. And I'm also seeing that you have the High Priestess here. So I feel like when you find out when this person comes back within your life, which they are coming back, this is unfinished business here, you are going to be at a place where, because right now your intuition, I think was one of these cards, yeah, your intuition is definitely coming up in reverse in the present moment but i feel like once this person returns your intuition is going to be like okay you're going to get the truth like yeah this person wants me <laughs> you know and you're going to feel a little bit better about the situation here so tell me about this night no this king of wands energy why is this person so unconfident like what's going on here this person's energy. I just feel like I'm just getting like this, um, 
because the king of wands to me is just like the emperor it's all about success but it's in reverse so they feel like you know on leadership role like defeated in life you know definitely wants to manipulate to succeed here and you feel like this person is very um territorial like they feel like you belong to them okay three of swords ah the four of cups and the knight of wands so they were very flirtatious very flirtatious yeah, I definitely see what's going on here. This person didn't have any confidence because a lot of things was going on, especially with the Three of Swords energy. Um, I'm definitely seeing like they were in and out of your life, okay? And they were very flirtatious here, okay, when they were doing this. And they didn't have any confidence within this relationship. They kind of like sabotaged this connection on their own. So, wow. Okay. All right. So what's going on with the Ten of Swords energy, please? Ten of Swords energy. And I feel like this is happening because it should. With the Tower being here, you have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's a shift going on here. The Page of Pentacles and the Tower. So this is going to take time when it comes to the stability of the healing process and just getting back to a place of peace, you guys. But this tower energy, the why this energy shifted and why you guys separated was for a purpose. You needed to do this. You needed to get like recharge, reset, um, you know, get to a point where you can arbor this energy back into your life because you were losing your mind. Um, in the present moment with this high priestess energy and like I said it all makes sense because in the future when you do get the information that you need from this person or the clarity I should say because you just want the truth you just want the truth of what's going on here so let's get some messages in from the energy deck and I also want to put up your um your energy when it comes to spirit all right so tell me about Scorpio what's the energy looking like for Scorpio what's the energy we really looking like for Scorpio I'm seeing hostility like someone has some kind of beef with you or they want to start something up with you mess with you contract is also being confirmed because i picked this up as well but i feel like this has to be more to watch your back make sure you're signing paperwork that you do understand i feel like love is also coming into your life for those of you who are interested in new love but tell me what's going on for scorpio wow community third chakra is showing up here so something about your um, emotional desires, you guys. Look at that. Storm warning. Again, emotional storms confirmed. Storm warning, you guys. A lot of transitions. I, I can just hear it because I've been reading the comments and a lot of you are like, oh, we've been going through trials and tribulations forever. We've been going through transitions forever. Like, I want something new. <laughs> and Scorpio, you're always shedding your skin. You're always going through changes. That's just who you are. That's just what your, your, you know, your purpose is. But of course, you're here to be blissful as well and happy. All right. Ooh, Angel Michael is showing up. We have... The magician in the mirror uh talk about power huh look at that oh wow you have to choose you're in your crossroads you guys you're in your end of your 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 adversities that you have you know signed up for before you even came here so you're at the end now you're going to a new chapter within your life and that explains a ten of swords as well that you're just like 
closing a lot of chapters, dealing with a lot of healing, a lot of broken hearts, a lot of disappointments in your life from your past. You just don't want to bring it into your new beginning because you just feel something is coming. You don't know what it is, but you know that you don't want to deal with this past energy anymore. Then we have the temperance also coming up. Patience, you guys, Sag energy on the back of the deck new love new love scorpio cancer pisces a lot of you might just be with someone that is um has your own element but doesn't it could be a moon sign but i feel like you're going to be going through a lot of experience anytime i see this 44 card with this heart it's like a lot of contracts that you had and you have to go through all these experiences until you go to the center of the heart which is your main person 444 on the clock for those of you you guys look at this action um yin and yang kind of like for me it's like black and white you know it's like you guys don't i'm getting like this could be your twin flame honestly because you're kind of like it could be either you know it could be your twin flame because this card reminds me of like you know just the opposites you know the opposite of you but then it could be another soul that is just quite is so different from what you are and what you're interested in but for some reason it does work you know but either way for this to happen you don't need to run from anything um you need to go forward go forward and solve the situation here this is what i'm seeing here so let's just get into the cards we have number seven 37 10 27 35 53 8 16 and 44 with the um woman holding a heart which is a feminine um energy for those of you this could be a man this could be a woman it doesn't have to be you know um anything like man or woman it could be both okay a man could even have masculine and feminine energy so can a woman um but I'm seeing new friends taking you out. I feel like you're going to be having fun. It's all about taking you out of your shell. So a lot of you could be surrounded by Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy. Just people, friends. And if these people come into your life, um, Scorpio, just be friends first, okay? Give it two months. You're going to know that this person is just meant to be your friend, honestly. Um, they're going to be very attractive, you know, but, you know, you just have to get to know them on a different level or try something new, try a new direction. So I'm seeing friendship, you know, I'm seeing people taking you out, you know, getting you out of your bubble, getting you out of your routine, which you have planned for yourself. You wake up, you go to work, you come home and you clean, you eat, you take care of your family. If you have children or you have um, someone that you're with and then you go back to work and you do the same thing over again. And that's pretty much your routine it might just change a little bit because of friends because of friends and this is what i'm seeing like your like your energy is bringing in new friends here they're going to bring you into this um emotional experience or this force of energy to to bring out your your deepest desires of your heart and um i feel like within the midst of this you're going to be going through some transitions as well um for some of you, you might be losing friendships you might be gaining new friends i feel like this energy Energy is definitely about new people I feel like some of your friends that you know now might introduce you to new people and then suddenly you have this energy of breaking that friendship with that person that introduced you to these new people so it's like wow it's like a lot of transitions like you're you're sh you're shifting your skin like you're shedding your skin you understand like everything is changing um, but it's like your divine is using what you have now to shed that old situation and bring and use those people to bring new situations into your life. Um, but I'm seeing that a lot of you are definitely wanting to go out, wanting to leave, wanting to move on from something, but you're afraid of leaving someone behind. You're afraid of, you know, making the wrong decision. You're afraid you have this fear, like you're making decisions based on fear. This is what I'm hearing. And you don't need to, you need to make this decision based on love, peace, and joy. Those are the three things. And I'm going to con and continue to say that on this channel because that's the three things and that's your purpose, Scorpio. As simple as it is, is love, peace, and joy. Do those three things and you're going to be okay. Your energy is going to be bringing positivity in your life. You're going to be experiencing the, pro the, 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 the abundance that you always seek for yourself, the fulfillment that you always wanted in love, in a romantic relationship, you know, you know, that job that you always wanted to experience. Those three rules, 
love, okay? Peace. And peace comes with what? Manifestation. You're practicing your breathing. You're praying. You're giving. You're building peace within your life. No one can give this to you but you. Self. It's so deep, okay? And then joy. When you have love and you have peace, you automatically, um, um, automatically <laughs> have joy have joy have your son your son is your your light your son is your divine you have this amazing feeling all the time and people say that i look like i have this all the time but i it's a it's a practice it's something that it's like i'm working within myself to be happy you know it comes out to other people that force of energy but it's a work it's work that i have to put in for myself you know so you can do it too okay follow those three steps and i'm feeling like you're making you're living for other people at this moment you're not doing this because you're looking behind you for some reason look at this it's like you're looking behind you you guys you know this is the energy like you're moving you opened the gate you walked out which and you're running and you're looking behind you kind of like afraid of what you know what might happen what's going on here not too sure all right <laughs> then we have nothing to fear we have angel michael you know a really strong angel you have another angel here your third chakra i believe which is your emotion your emotional desires which is coming to the front center of things so this could be love this could be you know family this could be new friends but whatever it is you are being highly protected here okay there's nothing that no one can they can try to plant negative seeds against you they can try to be you know hostile against you they can try to lie upon your name and make you feel like you know what you're going to lose everything and you're and you're going to lose your identity but you are not going to lose your identity because angel michael is here to protect you he has his sword he is very powerful very loving energy very um fear energy okay and they have to go through him they have to go through him and they have to have a cause because and even with this you're still protected there's no way no way and i feel like with this energy you have angels around you you have your your ancestors also that i'm picking up that is like really praying to the divine and divine is allowing michael and your third chakra to actually protect you okay you have sag energy very powerfully because i'm seeing another angel your temperance is also showing up here but i'm seeing like sag energy is coming out for some reason i don't know someone is dealing with a sag um but i'm also seeing the magician in the mirror you guys so I'm seeing Gemini energy. I'm seeing Virgo energy here as well. I feel like there's some kind of like need to make the right decision. Um, have this fear that you're going to make the wrong decision because this is your past. I feel like it's time to really look within yourself and really see yourself, really value yourself. This is what I'm seeing here. It's like you need to look within the mirror. A lot of you are dealing with your twin flame connection. Again, mirroring each other, mirroring each other, the magician and the mirror, okay? And then we had Gemini energy as well with the twin flame energy. So look, you guys, look, you guys. All right, so you're going to have to make a decision between two paths that you're going to have to take. You are going to be fine either way, but it's like you're dealing with the past, okay? And then there is going to be the future, which is something new, just a new path. Um, both have trials and tribulation, but that definitely um, success either way. This is what I'm hearing, right? But if you're tired of the past, you're going to have to make a decision to cut the past away and move towards something new, which is the white butterfly here. This is yellow, colorful. Um, I'm seeing a lot of fall um, energy here. So definitely spring, um, not spring, fall time, the past. And then you're going to be going into something new on the other side. So you have a decision to make. OK, be patient, be kind to yourself. This is what your angels are saying. Be kind to yourself. Everything is okay. You don't have to be perfect. No one is perfect. You know, everybody has trials and tribulations and weaknesses as well. All right. So 
Wow, what a beautiful energy. This is what I like to do. I like to just, you know, do your reading and say what's going on within tarot, but definitely get some kind of spiritual aspects up in here, especially um, advices as well from your divine. So we're going to close this read with the energy for you from your divine. What's the divine message, the spiritual message for Scorpio? No contact. What is the energy for Scorpio? No contact. This energy for Scorpio? No contact. Wow, we have number 22. She feels she knows. Wow. Hi, Priestess. She feels she knows. So your intuition is all over this. This is what I'm being told here. Your intuition knows everything. She feels she knows. Number 22, a lot of you could be seeing 222 on the clock as well. Your spiritual energy is that you feel and you already know. There is no need for you to ask questions. You already know. Listen to your intuition, you guys. Your intuition is in reverse in the present moment. I'm seeing that you're going to be fine in the future, but right now your spirit, your divine wants you to say, wants you to feel or even say she feels, she knows, but they, your divine want you to know that listen to your intuition. Stop harboring doubts within your mind please stop doubting yourself you know you already know exactly what you need to do what's going on what's what's happening here believe in yourself please bring back the confidence the confidence that's all your divine want you to have such confidence in yourself because you're such a bright amazing light and i'm going to end it here love you guys and i'll see you guys in your next read bye guys